A DIY foam and concrete background is easy, customizable, and unique. Give your aquarium your personal signature. To build your personal foam and concrete aquarium background, cut two sheets of pink insulation foam to the inner dimensions of your aquarium. One will serve as the spine of the background, the other provides decoration. The thickness of the sheets will be dependent on your aquarium. I use one inch thick sheets. Now is the time to plan out your design. Decide where you, the equipment will be located. Will the background enclose the equipment? If so, how will you get water to flow? How much room do you need? Be sure to account for everything that will be going into the tank. That includes filter intakes, outflows, heaters, air stones, tubing, power heads, and any other accessories. Draw your design out and marker right onto the foam. In my design, I decided to build a tunnel across the bottom of the background to hide a heater and serve as the chamber for the filter intake. Water was returned from the canister filter to a similar column on the opposite side of the aquarium. A second backup heater could be hidden with the filter outflow. The design of the chamber allows for lots of water flow over the vital components of the tank while hiding the equipment from view. Let's get on to decoration. I decided to go with a cobble-like design. To make this, I drew out irregular but smooth shapes over the top layer of foam. If you wish, number each piece so you know exactly where it goes. Use a heat or steak knife to cut the foam generally into shape. Don't worry about detailing just yet. The concrete will provide most of the texture. Use super glue to attach the rocks to their new homes on the spine. Another method is to stack strips of foam, creating a layered design. Cut the strips at different thicknesses and slopes to create a sedimentary rock effect. Artistic folk could also carve out the design directly from the foam block itself. The possibilities are endless. If building for a larger tank, you must account for how you're going to place the background in the aquarium. Center braces are vital for keeping an aquarium in good condition, however, they can be a hindrance when trying to put in a background. We can counter this by building our background in sections. For my 55 gallon aquarium, I broke the background up into thirds. Now that we have the basic design of our background, it's time to provide a bit more detail. Scape your background and build in any accessories. I added some PVC to the entrances to my tunnel so I could cover the tunnels using a PVC drain cap. This is an excellent way to hide your aquarium's equipment. Gaps can be filled in using scrap pieces of foam and great stuff expanding foam. Fill in the gaps and build any structures you want to have in the finished product. We're almost to the goopy part. Since concrete will leach lime and cause the pH to skyrocket, we need to find a way to seal the concrete. A concrete acrylic bonding solution can be mixed into the concrete and take care of this for us. Additionally, there are clear coat sprays which can be applied to the outside to seal the rock. It's time to get messy. Follow the instructions provided on the concrete mix. The first layer of concrete should be liquidy. Add an extra water or acrylic bonding agent. This will provide a base for which the thicker layers will attach. Coat the background using a paintbrush and some gloves. Be sure to apply the layer evenly and to get every nook and cranny. As per the directions provided on the mix, allow the concrete to cure, then add another layer. For the last couple layers, it's time to start considering color. There are concrete color mixes, which will change the color of the concrete from gray to black, green, tan, or anything in between. You can get as creative as you like with the coloring, but remember, this is going into an aquarium. You're likely to get algae to build up on it, which will provide extra highlighting given time. When it's time to put the background into your aquarium, use silicone 1 to secure the background to the back and base of the aquarium. Run silicone over all edges and seams too. We have not added much mass to the background, so it will still want to float. Silicone will make sure this background stays the background. Monitor the water parameters and keep conducting water changes until they stabilize. At that point, you've got a unique piece of art to accompany your slice of aquatic environment. For more DIY projects and aquarium information, follow me at facebook.com slash aquastudent. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave me a message in the comments below. You can also support my channel by picking up some epic aquarium gear at aquastudent.spreadshirt.com. Fish on, amigos.